My name is Meredith Bragg and I'm a UBC National Entrance Award recipient. Having the scholarship meant that I could try out um, UBC which has so many different programs and so many different classes and is really world renowned and it also gave me a chance to do community work which is really important to me so volunteering with an AIDS group and some other organizations so that was really important to me. I really want to work on issues of malnutrition in Africa because it's a leading cause of death among children and it's so linked up with all the other diseases that are facing um, many people in Africa like malaria and AIDS. We have been very proud of a number of world-class discoveries that have been made in Alzheimer's disease. We can clearly see that what we do here in the Brain Research Center is making a difference. We've been able to benefit the lives of our patients and make a difference from many points of view, from psychosocial to medical to their overall quality of life. We would have a greater struggle on a day-to-day -day basis without our donor community. Some of our ability to advance and reach the next level depends on the donor community. And we're extremely grateful and indebted to them for trusting us with their generous donations by which we are able to fill and fulfill the things that we aspire to. To receive the genetic scholarship was a little bit more special. It was really nice to be recognized within the Aboriginal community. Over the summer when I worked with the Chinook program, I got to work very closely with Nishka and I got to do the preliminary market and financial research and analysis for a couple potential businesses that they were looking at. I think Nishka will have success with what we left them. Uh, they were wonderful businesses, great ideas and um, I'm looking forward to planning a trip up there and hopefully getting to experience some of them. <laughs> Mining at this point in time now is going through a great transition. We're under phenomenal pressures to be good environmental stewards, to take great care of our communities, and to be technology aware. So here at the Kievan Institute, our vision is of what we call green mining. So this new machine is an innovative way of actually reducing the energy consumption in mining. And although breaking rock sounds like something very simple to do, to actually do it effectively, cheaply, and in an eco-friendly way is quite a challenge. The donors to the Kieval Institute have had a phenomenal impact in enabling our increase in research and contribution to the Canadian mining industry. So it's not only education, but research and technology, which has been dramatically improved by the impacts from our donors. The blue whale is the largest animal that's ever lived on the planet. You have to sort of imagine something that is longer than two city buses put end to end. So we put our heads together and we thought about, well, what didn't the museum have? It's got practically everything in it, but you know, it doesn't have a blue whale. And so the thinking was, what would be the calling card for the museum and what better thing than to have the world's largest animal?
me, the blue whale project has been one of the most exciting projects I've ever been involved in. There's only 21 blue whales that have ever been collected and put on display. This will be the 22nd. It's really, really rare, and that we're talking about the entire planet. Donors have made the opera program, period. If it weren't for donors, we would not have an opera program of this quality at all. Of course, I think it's one of the best in the world. Um, we have had tremendous successes with our students who have been winning awards all over the world. We have some prestigious alumni like Ben Hepner and Judy Forst. I have to say, that the donors are responsible for sending out these wonderful performers we've made. And the donors should know that they are very grateful for what the donors have done for them, as am I. The first time I saw an opera was actually right here at the Chan Center. It was a UBC opera production of The Magic Flute. And I remember falling in love with everything about it. The costumes, the sets, the singers were phenomenal. Um, and I remember by the end of that two-hour show, knowing that this is what I wanted to do. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but this is what I wanted to do. Thank you for making what seemed like an impossible dream come true. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your tremendous support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for helping mining students to be global citizens. Thank you for helping bring a world of discovery to UBC. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for helping make a difference in the lives of our patients. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.